We are in first alert weather mode this afternoon. A cold rain and some possible snow flurries are in the forecast for the weekend. Meteorologist Steve Stewart right now with the first alert forecast. Good afternoon, Steve. Hey, Andrea, listen, it looks like the tail end of this thing by late in the day tomorrow could have some flakes, but likely they'll melt on contact. Uh, but yeah, it definitely going to be a day where the temperatures are dropping. Not going to be a fun day to be out. Look at the probability of precipitation as we go throughout the day. So just about any given time period, we could be uh, talking about some showers moving on by a good soaking rain coming our way. Let's time it out with a predictor now. Notice as we get into 2.30 overnight tonight, a couple of spotty showers. When you wake up tomorrow morning, there'll be rain around the region and temperatures at our warmest will be in the 50s and the sand hills will be in the 60s. But notice as the day wears on, the temperatures drop. We get rounds and rounds of rain as that low scoots by to our south. The winds shift out of the north and it taps into some colder air. With that cold air advancing southward. If there's enough moisture left and we think there will be the GFS model suggesting it. This is our in-house model and the European model. The earlier run all had at least a little bit of light snow in our northern counties with temperatures falling to the mid 30s. If indeed this does happen, most of it will melt and it's going to be very light. Uh, we're not talking about a lot here. More than likely no accumulation, but the issue is if there's enough wetness still on the roads, bridges and overpasses could be icy early Sunday morning with a lot of us seeing temperatures is dropping potentially all the way down uh, to freezing or even lower with clear skies. Now notice here's another depiction of that. You can see that cold air backing in as we get into midday and that continues to push south. So low 40s north, still near 60 in the Sand Hills and 70s in Wilmington. And that cold air makes it all the way down towards the South Carolina border, allowing that cold air to come into play. And again, the timing issue, if it's the, still enough moisture left over, we could transition to sleet or some snow at the very tail end. And a good soaking rain. We're talking about an inch or so. Most of the models in agreement there. And that's going to help us out as far as knocking the pollen down. There's your numbers right now. Take advantage. We're not going to see numbers like this for a while. That cold air is going to linger all the way into early next week.